there's a genie in my Szechuan one sauce is a rancid pile of shit, and that's okay. I bought the game when it was 47 cents, but as you can see, it is currently $1.43 due to the devs changing its price. This isn't so much a game, as it is a shitty YouTube video in the vein of Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff. The game actually reminded me of Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff quite a bit, since they're both horrible on purpose. If you haven't read the Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff comics, I strongly urge you to go and give them a read. They're absolutely hilarious if you enjoy this sort of humor. Personally, I can't recommend this game to any sane and normal person due to its price. There's no actual gameplay, and the price is terrible because of it. Even if you look at uh, even if you look at this as a work of art, it's still hard to justify spending more than a dollar on it. And as you can see, the normal price would be about two dollars. That's absolutely ridiculous for the product you are getting. But that's just my opinion on the matter. From what I can tell, the story is exactly as the title says. There is a genie and some treasure on sauce, and when free, he grants three wishes. Well, four wishes, but, you know, whatever. That's really as far as the story goes, and I think that's fine, as this is a comedy and intentionally meant to be horrible. The game is grating and awful in a way that makes me laugh my ass off at how terrible and poorly made it is. There are several scenes that drag on for far too long, forcing you to sit through them, only for more shitty memes instead of actual jokes. Normally, this wouldn't be that bad. I mean, well, normally, this would be bad, but for what this is, I think it just enhances the experience and adds to the humor. There are three scenes like this, one at the start, one in the middle, and one at the end, which is uh, how the game ends. In all three of these scenes, it just lingers for far too long. But again, you know, that's okay because it is attempting to be horrible on purpose, like Sweet Bro and Hell and Jeff. It succeeds with flying colors as well. I'll show you two of these scenes before continuing. I won't show you the end because, well, it's special. You know, I like it, so, yeah.
game has two special features. One says, sorry, but you need to be cool to access this special feature. The other merely plays an intro that you see previously in the main game. When you're done with all of the content the game has to offer, you'll want to exit the game. However, you are unable to do this because the devs did not include a button for exiting the .exe. Since this is the case, you will most likely spend another minute or two fucking around in the menus until you come to the realization that you simply cannot exit the game through the game itself. In order to exit the game, you will need to hit Control alt delete open up Task Manager, and manually shut down the .exe file. Since I suppose you're getting about 10 minutes of content out of this, which is roughly 10% of the average runtime of most films, uh, however, finally, I suppose you're getting about 10 minutes of content out of this, which is roughly 10% of the average runtime of most films. However, two dollars is still quite a bit to ask for in exchange for ten minutes of entertainment. If you enjoy this sort of humor immensely, then this may be up your alley. But if I were you, I'd just wait for There is a Genie in My Special One Sauce to go on sale. I think the game is great, and it really reminds me of when I used to do dumb shit with my friends. With all that I've said, I think I'd give the game a rating of six out of ten, and I'd recommend it only to those who enjoy something that... It Finally, I suppose you're getting about 10 minutes of content out of this, which is roughly 10% of the average runtime of most films. However, $2 is still quite a bit to ask for in exchange for 10 minutes of entertainment. If you enjoy this sort of humor immensely, then this may be right up your alley. But if I were you, I'd just wait for there as a genie in my special on sauce to go on sale. I think the game is great, and it really reminds me of when I used to do dumb shit with my friends. With all that I've said, I think I'd give this game a rating of 6 out of 10, and I'd recommend it only to those who will enjoy something that is blatantly terrible. Thanks for listening to my shitty video, and have a nice day. Yeah, like and subscribe if you want to, dislike if you dislike the video, fuck off, okay bye.